So yesterday when I was rolling with John, the, the, we were wrestling all over the place. It was going great. We were, you know, just headbutting each other left and right. Like that's where this came from. But during our second roll, um, I came up from half guard with a takedown. And when I did that, I pulled a bunch of muscles in my back. Last night I actually had a lot of trouble like kind of getting comfortable. So I don't think that I'm going to roll today. Hopefully uh, I'll see some people that maybe have some questions or something. I can answer them on the spot. Uh, if not, I'll just kind of hang out and be on the mats with everybody. And on a good note, it's a beautiful morning. And if it's a beautiful day, it can't be that bad, can it? You know what the worst thing ever is? When you accidentally left your sweaty old clothes in the car in the middle of, well, it wasn't really summer, but it's still warm enough to get them to, you know, Funkify. So you get your funkified clothes smell when you walk right into the car. It's disgusting. So it's day two. We're here at Guardian training um, again today. I'm going to be a lazy bum because I can't train full speed. My back actually feels all right. The muscles are starting to loose up, so I might move around a little bit at the dismay of my significant other holding the camera right now. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some good stuff today to show you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and jump on in. I was wondering about that. I was like, man, that when he laid down, he's probably had to Oh, dude, it was terrible last night. Like, it, I kept waking up and I'm like, half the pillows. Like, oh, God. Oh, man. There he is. The man of the hour. Look at that beard. I know, right? Whoa. Give me a, give me a couple months, man. You get on my level. You say that now, then you just keep. Is that a. Sh I didn't grow this beard out of like attention. Is that a sheer laziness? It's just like, eh. When's your match coming up? I got one match. Okay, is it an EBI or? No, it's Sapphire. Sapphire, okay. Yeah. But you weren't letting me. What happened is, you came up here, so I immediately, instead of trying to like stay here, I immediately took this knee, bang, went in. And then as we were in these positions, as we were coming back, over. right here.
Yeah, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. Okay. So much for a uh, day and not roll. See how it works. I was doing videos I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna come in and move around and we help some people some questions. And all of a sudden, I'm like, well, <laughs> body feels okay now. In the morning, I'm gonna be regretting. You're gonna be laughing at me. You'll be like, I told you. <laughs> it's good though. It's muscular. I can do it muscular. I'm gonna get tapped out of punch, I'm gonna play legs. I don't like that now. I ain't gonna get shit out of his legs. But I'm gonna put myself there and that's okay. Right. Cause I know I can I can play the guard pass the game all day, but I'm gonna I wanna get better. I wanna play these legs a little bit. Look at this, you're so gummy, it's not fair. I can't do that. <laughs> So, what, so basically, you leave it out there almost as a decoy. Yeah. Because they're going to take it because they played the grab heel. Then, in reality, you shifted the, the offensive side to you. But, but this prevents the, the, the turn. Yeah, go ahead and go to hook them. I mean, just, yeah, it's so damn shallow. Yeah, I'm just ripping it. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Let's say you give me this 50 50 position, right? So, so then I should, first off, I should start by like working my way to get down here shallow to the hip, and then I can use this other leg here to just kind of defend. Where would this be positioned at? This is, as long as you have to hit there, because, you know, you can't, I mean, it's still from here, you can't pull the left and get it here. Okay. All you gotta do is turn the hill toward you. Okay, right here. And then, and then bring your scoop in, yeah. and then. See where you're at? Okay. Now, now you can't even rotate out of it. Suck this in? No, no. Like, turn this in. Okay, so it's all here. And this one is this one here. Yeah, see? If and then suck in like right there. Yeah. That's my difference. And then I never roll out of it. Uh, you go to hill hit it, I never roll out. Because if you hook it, it's done. Yeah. I only roll this way. Okay. So if they hook it, everybody will try. I go to hit it. Keep rolling. Okay. Cool. Good, a little bit of rolling. Didn't get myself injured. Took it easy. Didn't let anybody touch my neck. My grip fighting got better. Today. <laughs> Good day. Nice and slow. It was just a panic. I'm right away. Morning, Joe. I really appreciate you guys. Hey, thanks. I'm glad at least Chad doesn't have a beard, so I didn't get completely out bearded. Out bearded. Yeah. Thanks, I really like so much. I got a beard on one side. And one side. Thank you so much, man. Oh, so hard. 
Thank Day two is down and we had a great training session. Uh, my upper back muscles actually held out. It's funny how I originally had started the training session not wanting to really roll at all. And then after doing a little bit of stretching and moving around and getting warm, those muscles started to kind of unseize a bit and I started to feel better and better. And I was like, well, I'll go ahead and roll a little bit. And then that little bit of rolling turned into like a, a full training session. Not quite as intense as yesterday, but still a full training session. The fact that I was injured today was kind of interesting because what it forced me to do, it forced me to kind of play around a bit in some different ways because I wasn't able to use my full-on game because of the fact that I didn't want people to like grab onto my head so I didn't play the deep half as much because I didn't want people to you know pull my neck and uh, as soon as someone grabbed onto my neck I would immediately uh, hand fight and I, I was just more aware of it you know and so one of the things that you guys can even do in your own training this is something I've done for years is if you can train but maybe you've got an affected area that's kind of just a Kind of, you know, something where you don't want people to get a hold of it. For instance, like maybe your ankle's hurting, and you know the guy's playing some leg locks, then you're way more aware of that area, and you're going to make sure that that person doesn't get there. This is kind of a, an important lesson to learn and be able to sort of take that awareness of your body to, you know, uh, different aspects of your game. Because then, if you're training later on, and you know the person is really good at a particular position, submission, or whatever, you can take that same awareness that you've used to avoid, you know, further injury or letting that injured area get caught, and take that awareness is regular rolling when you're going 100% and part of this is just me trying to rationalize why I was training when I maybe shouldn't have been training but actually I feel better now I got done with lunch with everybody I'm headed back home got some coffee and I'm good to go so guys I hope you enjoyed the training session and maybe you got something out of it maybe you just enjoyed it whatever but hopefully you had a good time with it and uh, if you guys like these videos because I'll try to do some from time to time but if you like them let me know comment down below give it a thumbs up all that stuff just so that I know to keep doing them or scratch them and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time